Good day class. In this video, I will explain to you what is position vector. Okay, so last time, in my previous video, I explained to you what is rotation matrix. It is the description of how the rotation of the projected frame is projected on the reference frame. Okay, so F sub N is the projected frame and Fn minus 1 is the reference frame. It is denoted using capital R with uh, superscripts with superscript N minus 1 and subscript N. Okay, so this is the rotation matrix. So my previous videos uh, taught how to derive the rotation matrix or the rotation matrices of a given mechanical manipulator. Okay, now I will teach you what is position vector. So position vector is how the translation of the projected frame is projected on the reference frame or the translation of uh, f of n projected on f sub n minus 1. It is denoted as d with superscript n minus 1 and subscript n. Super, the superscript n minus 1 is the reference frame while the subscript n is the projected frame okay they use uh, d or p in the references as the denotation of a position vector in our class we will use p so that it will not be confusing when we are using letter D as our joint variable. Okay, so we will use P with superscript N minus 1 and subscript N. Okay, so position vector is a single column vector with three elements okay, and has a size of 3 by 1. Okay, this is a 3 by 1 vector. It has 3 rows and single column. Okay, so the elements of this position vector stands for X, Y, and Z. Okay, X, is, X as the, uh, the reference, the projected X. Okay, the projected X projected on the reference X, the projected Y reference, uh, projected on reference Y, and the projected C projected on the, refer the reference Z. Okay, so this is the position vector so position vector has the same rules with the x y and z coordinate from algebra okay so example here we have the reference frame frame zero and the projected frame frame one okay so to describe the translation of frame one on the reference frame, frame 0. Okay. So, we will find how far. How far is the distance of the origin of frame 1. To the origin of frame 0. Okay. So, we will look at the origin of the projected frame. How far it is to the origin of the reference frame and we will measure it using 
the axis of frame 0. So, the origin of frame 1 is 10 units far, okay, 10 units far to the origin of frame 0 along x sub 0 axis. Okay? Because it is 10 units far, we will put it in our position vector at the position of the x coordinate or the element of x. Okay? Then, Next, we will uh, look to the axis of y sub 0. So, the origin, again, of frame 1 Okay, the origin of frame 1, how far is the origin of frame 1 to frame 0 is 6 units, okay, 6 units along y sub 0. So, because it is 6 units along y sub 0, our y coordinate is 6. Next, how far is the origin of frame 1 to frame 0 along the sub 0 axis? So, it is 5. Okay, it's indicated here that it is 5. So, we will put it on our position vector. Okay. So, our position vector for this okay, for this given projected and reference frames is 10, 6, 5. So, 10 units along X, 6 units along Y, and, and uh, 5 units along Z. Okay? So, this is how to derive a position vector a simple position vector okay so just like the rules of algebra okay, if our frame is translated only at the axis of x sub 0 and not at the axis of y sub 0 and z sub 0 so the distance along x sub 0 can be named as letter a if we create the position vector our position vector will become like this okay a 0 0 a 0 0 because our frame only our frame one is only projected along x sub zero axis it is not uh, projected along y sub zero axis and z sub zero axis or in other words our frame one does not translated along y sub zero and z sub zero axis only at x sub zero axis that's why the position vector is a zero zero okay the same if our frame one translated only at y sub zero axis okay if it translated only at y sub 0 axis, our position vector will become 0 v 0, the distance of the origin of frame 1 to the origin of frame 0 can be named as letter B, so our position vector is 0 v 0. Then lastly, If our frame 1 translated only at the axis of y sub 0, okay, at the axis of y sub 0, sorry, at the axis of z sub 0, our position vector will become 0, 0, c. Okay? Because z sub 0 is uh, perpendicular among 
al uh, perpendicular with y sub zero and x sub zero. Okay, and we name the distance of the origin of frame one to the origin of frame zero, letter C. That's why the position vector is zero zero C. Okay, so this is how you will derive position vectors. So if our projected frame is at the center of the three axes or at the center of the planes created by this uh, three axes, we will have uh, we will have our values for x, y, and z coordinates or x, y, z elements of our position vector. Okay.